Hello, welcome to Just Secure Care Keisha and Stuff, and today we're going to review the Sailor Moon Wine Stopper, because it's a piece of shit. Yeah, <laughs> no really. Um, the Sailor Moon Metal Wine Bottle, or Bottle Stopper, comes in this packaging. As you can see, this is the stupid sticker I've been bitching about in the last video I did. I'm going to get it off eventually, because this thing is not usable at all um, and I'm gonna put it back in the box and just keep it um, it's your typical GE animation product design you got the pink with the stars um, OG moon got Luna down here and it says Sailor Moon bottle stopper food grade silicone which is this black stuff right here Preserve freshness, flavors, and aroma with the Sailor Moon Scepter Bottle Stopper. Alright. <laughs> if you say so. By the way, this thing is $17.90. It's expensive. It's very heavy. Um, I weighed it. It weighs 8.8 .8 ounces according to my food scale. It's very heavy. It is pretty. I will give you, I will give you that. Um, it's gold. These are actual stones here and on the top, which I like. I like that they put the stone on the top like it's supposed to be. Um, and this part right here is not like a sticker. It's it's like a, a thin stone too. N nothing, you know, it's nice. It's pretty. And then you got your, your silicone stopper right here. And then the Sailor Moon logo is actually engraved into the stopper, which is a nice touch too. It's not just... A, a sticker slapped onto it um, but when we try to use it with our bottle of wine we really don't buy wine very often um, but with this particular bottle that we bought to try it with and for me to drink whenever I could um, it just wouldn't stay in I my main concern was that it was too heavy and make the bottle top heavy and it would just be a disaster but it wouldn't even stay in the bottle. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna show you this awesome bottle of wine that um, my husband got me from Aldi. I don't know if you guys have Aldi around you. Little grocery store, you pay a quarter to rent a buggy. When you get done, you get the quarter bag. You have to bring your own bags, which is nice. I'm not complaining. And everything is super duper freaking cheap. And it's all their own brand, so they don't have to pay, you know, and they don't really, I don't think they, they don't run credit cards, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really remember. Anyways, it's called Petite Raspberry. It is a specialty wine. A blend of white wine with rich raspberry flavor and cream. It's supposed to be from uh, Germany. It's really good. It kind of tastes like um, tequila rose cream liquor to me. My friend thinks it tastes like Pepto-Bismol. But, you know. Um, here we go. I do have a slight theory about this particular wine bottle. Most wine bottles have a cork stopper. That may be the problem. This is actually a twist off top and it may not suction right. So I may just be blowing just air out of my ass about this damn thing. But it's still really fucking heavy. Okay. Alright, here we go. Let me get it in there real good. Okay. It's in there. Feels pretty sturdy. Pushed in there pretty good. My husband, when he did this, it actually like popped out. Yep, there, I barely pulled on it. I think a good wine stopper, you should be able to hold it by the stopper. But I don't really know shit about wine, so I probably shouldn't be reviewing this at all. Um, but yeah, I have to push it down really, really hard, and it's not even sticking. It's just pushing right back up. So, I can at least guarantee you that this thing will not work with a wine bottle that has a twist off top. God, this stuff smells good. Um, <coughs> if I get a wine with a cork top anytime soon, I will test it and edit this but so far this thing is going back in the box I'm going to take off the sticker and it's just going to be displayed because I mean it really is it's a very pretty wine stopper 
it it's got it's really heavy but it feels nice um, do I think it's overpriced yes I feel like this should be $15 or under but I don't normally drink wine I don't really buy wine stoppers very often I think I have two two wine stoppers other than this one and one's an octopus and it's really awesome it's badass I think we paid like five dollars for it it was on clearance at um i think earth trends or some shit i don't remember um but yeah we really don't drink wine yeah i, I mainly bought it because it was pretty i'm not gonna lie to you um if you had luck with the wine stopper with a quart bottle let me know but it will not work with a twist bottle that's pretty much that's that's all there is to say about that um in other news I've been playing Doki Doki Literature Club, and I've been trying to do a video playthrough of it. And I'm learning how to use the software and stuff. It's really... I'm an idiot. I don't know how to do anything, okay? I'm just going to be honest. When it comes to computers, I used to be really good with them, but... Because, you know, I... You know, the way I grew up, I remember a time where we didn't have computers in, in you know, your households and stuff. And then when we finally got one, it was dial up. We had to, you know, unplug the phone to use the internet. And then, you know, it progressed. So I was like the computer expert in my family for the longest time. And now I'm just like, I use my phone all the time instead of the laptop. I do have a laptop. I have a nice laptop. I don't really use it though, because most of the stuff that I would use the laptop for, I can use my phone for. Um, and I'm not really a PC gamer. Laptops aren't really good for PC gaming anyways, in, in my experience. Um, but I've been learning how to use video game capture software and video editing and stuff like that. And I've been trying my hardest to make a playthrough video of Doki Doki Literature Club for you guys. And I just can't do it. I can't do it. I feel so boring. I don't really feel like subjecting you to multiple 10 minute clips of me reading shit. It, it's pretty boring. I mean, I know the game gets, it's twisted, it gets interesting, and I really do want to record my reaction to it, but I gotta figure out the way to, the way, I will show you the way, the way to not make this as boring as possible. Um, I'm also trying to figure out the perfect timing because what I'm using right now is Bandicam, the free version, nothing too fancy. Like I said, I'm an idiot. I don't know how to do anything. I'm not ready to spend $39 on a program yet until I know for sure if I like it or not. If, I mean, so far I do like it, but I'm going to test out some other programs before I commit because I do believe in, you know, quality, paying for quality. I don't mind to pay for a good program. I don't mind to pay for equipment because I do enjoy making these videos and I do want to provide good quality because right now this quality sucks. My lighting is shit and I can't get my fucking phone out of the case. So that's why my videos look really dumb these past two videos. Sorry for the language. I'm sorry. I normally don't F-bomb in my YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can figure out how to properly video capture things and edit and I will possibly um post a video for Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm about an hour in honestly and I've like had to reread the same stuff over and over again because I keep re-recording 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 because like the first time I recorded my computer shut down because I was a dumbass and didn't plug it in and the battery died yeah, scared the shit out of me. 